Hello everyone, I'm Larry Boudreaux, the creator of Cousin Boudreaux's Food and Dip Mixes. Today my wife Caroline and I want to cover quick step-by-step -step directions on how to make Cousin Boudreaux's Creole Chili. It's easy and easy to make with Cousin Boudreaux's Mixes. Look at our website, www.cousinboudreaux.com, for the link to a detailed video showing Caroline and I prepare this Cousin Boudreaux chili mix in real time. Caroline wants me to make sure that I tell you to spray your pots and pans with a good vegetable spray before cooking so that your cleanup will be easy. First of all, we have found that it's best to use about a pound and a half of ground chuck. Uh, you brown the meat and when it's done, drain the excess fat. To the brown meat, stir in the tomato sauce, pinch of sugar, water, beef broth, and Cousin Boudreaux's Creole chili mix. If you like, this is where you can add the chili beans. Take the mixture without a lid on the pot, bring it to a boil, and then lower the heat to medium, and serve it when the texture of the chili is to your liking. And what I mean by this is the longer you cook, the thicker it gets. The chili is a good basic chili, and most folks like it just the way it is. Some like to add beans and perhaps some uh, rotel tomatoes. If you'd like to try it over pasta with a little cheddar cheese sprinkled on top, that's good too. Look at our website and you'll find a great enchilada recipe. At our house, we always cook several packs of Cousin Boudreaux's chili mix at a time because it serves about three people and it's perfect for freezing for future meals. If you haven't tried chili with Cousin Boudreaux's hot sauce or firecrackers, you don't know what you're missing. For details on preparing this chili, go to CousinBoudreaux.com for a real-time video and information on other Cousin Boudreaux products and dip mixes. Thank you for watching. Bon chance.